Hello and welcome to another installment of Reading with Miss Rachel. Today we'll be reading Chapter 6 of The Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane, written by Kate DiCamillo, illustrated by Mr. Bob. How does a china rabbit die? Can a china rabbit drown? Is my hat still on my head? These were the questions that Edward asked himself as he went sailing out over the blue sea. The sun was high in the sky, and from what seemed to be a very long way away, Edward heard Abilene call his name. Edward! she shouted. Come back! Come back? Edward thought. Of all the ridiculous things to shout, as he tumbled ears over tail through the air, he managed to catch one last glimpse of Abilene. She was standing on the deck of the ship, holding onto the railing with one hand. In her other hand was a lamp. No, it was a ball of fire. No, Edward realized it was his gold pocket watch that Abilene held in her hand. She was holding it up high, and it was reflecting the light of the sun. My pocket watch, he thought. I need that. And then... Abilene disappeared from view, and the rabbit hit the water with such tremendous force that his hat blew off his head. That answers that question, Edward thought, as he watched the hat dance away on the wind. And then he began to sink. He sank and sank and sank. He kept his eyes open the whole time, not because he was brave, but because he had no choice. His painted on eyes witnessed the blue water turning to green and then to blue again. They watched as it finally became as black as night. Edward went down and down. He said to himself, if I'm going to drown, certainly I would have done so by now. Far above him, the ocean liner with Abilene aboard it sailed blithely on and the China rabbit landed finally on the ocean floor, face down, and there, with his head in the muck, he experienced his first genuine and true emotion. Edward Tulane was afraid. Remember, be kind, be patient, be well. See you next time on Reading with Miss Rachel.